Hello chums, Robert Ross here, Britain's comedy historian, long time no see. I've come to you bearing gifts, well this one at least anyway. This is the latest and one of the greatest from those glorious people at Network DVD, part of their British film collection. Every single release is essential for your library of films uh, at your home. Uh, this one is a very special one indeed. This is from Adelphi Films, uh, produced by the late David Dent, uh, who passed away uh, in spring 2020 at the ripe old age of 97. This is Stars in Your Eyes, a love letter to 1950s British variety, starring that rubber-necked genius Nat Jackley, ask your grandparents, he's a genius, uh, and little Jimmy Clivero, the Clivero kids in it, Oh God, who are Vera Day, my dear friend Vera Day is in this. Dorothy Squires, the singing sensation, she's in it too. But the main thing that makes this such a special and uh, essential purchase is it was written by Talbot Rothwell. Best known now, of course, for writing many of the Carry On films. Uh, this is an early 1956 script. If you know your carry-ons word for word, like I know my carry-ons word for word, you will buy this film and recognise great chunks of dialogue that he later used in such films as Carry On Cleo. There's some great stuff between Nat Jackley and Pat Kirkwood in this, which Kenneth Connor and Sheila Hancock uh, recreated about 10 years later for Carry On Cleo. So this is great. And also a bonus, a Brucey bonus, in the cast, very low down, is a very, very young and gorgeous Joan Sims. So this is both available on DVD and Blu-ray. This little fella here is a Blu-ray. Uh, Network DVD, Adelphi Films presents Stars in Your Eyes, starring the legend that was Nat Jackley. Buy it. Yes? 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 Oh, grand, grand. Thank you, thank you. Arthur Ask is too busy to do it. I've never known him when he wasn't. Four days, four days. There must be somebody free. Leety. Comics. Jimmy Knowles. Try him. Fremantle 9006. Fremantle 9006. Three. Nine. Oh. 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 Oh, six. Oh, six. I wish I'd never heard of or seen Jerry Lomas. Do you know, it's a funny thing about that program. My girlfriend's brother's wife's father owns a butcher shop. And he said that the other day a man came in and he said, oh, Mr. Knowles, please. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what did he say? He's gone to fetch him. No, 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 about the Jerry Lomas program. Oh, yes. Well, you see, my girlfriend's brother's wife's father well, owns, owns this butcher, butcher shop. shop. Yes, I heard that's that, right. And you see, he said that this man came in and he said, oh, Mr. Knowles, just one moment, please. I have a call for you. Mr. Waters, Mr. Crawley Waters. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Knowles? Well, what do you want? Uh, Mr. Knowles, I have a half-hour programme on Saturday night. I wonder if you'll be free. Yes, I'm free, all right. Yes, he's free. As a matter of fact, we've got a show that's just packed up. Well, could we televise that, do you think? Well, I don't know. Yes, you could do an excerpt from it, from the theatre. But think how much easier it'd be for you. Well, I said some props are still there. Right, I'll make the necessary arrangements. The Majestic... Fellow. Yeah, write it down, the majestic fellow. Good. Well, I'll meet you there at three o'clock. Sal! Oh, I have to go right away. Okay. By the way, uh, Miss Brockleback, what did that man say? I, I don't know. I wasn't listening. No, 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 no. The man in the butcher shop. No, oh, him. Yeah. Mm. Well, what did he say? He said he thought the program stunk. Thank <laughs> you. 